Hey Legionnaires and welcome back. Uh, we're here with another Rome 2 Siege Battle for you today and if you can tell by the title we are looking at, uh, well, you could say someone that's abused, abused the rules of how to play. Someone that's kind of, well, we'll say, we'll say cheated because it's, it is what it is really. And they decided to bring, as the Sassanids, uh, which in fairness is a bit of a dodgy move playing Sassanids against Grand Campaign factions to start with. People usually disapprove of that. Um, Bringing longsword cohorts, so bringing Roman units as the Sassanids. So obviously that's just kind of, and they've got their royal archers and they've got good cav and they've got elephants. So they've just picked and choose what they wanted from, uh, from like different factions. So they decided, oh yeah, let's get Roman infantry for this per uh, Persian army, and then let's have the good cavalry and the good archers of the Persians and the elephants of the Persians. Uh, and yeah, I just felt like this is apparently a very close battle, but uh, when I saw this I was like, right, well, would, I don't really mind if it's a close or not. I just kind of want to bring this uh, up as like a big no-no. Like, you just shouldn't do this. Like, unless it's like specifically said, I don't know if it was in this match, but even still, I'm going to bring it up. Uh, just doing this, like bringing longsword cohort is just like, well, just any Roman units as like the Persians or bringing... Persian units of the Romans, uh, or whatever. Uh, it's just a big no-no. It's just like, just be good at the game. Just learn how to play with like, the balance, like, that balanced game. Like, if you can't do that, then uh, just don't play Rome Total War, or Rome 2. But anyway, so we have a 2v2 today, after that little rant. We have Kush, and the uh, Gete inside with Rome, and we have the Sassanids here. Um, I'm sure I'll make more comments about the Sassanids. And if you can tell, I, I don't really want the attackers to win. Apologies to the Roman player uh, over there. But yeah, I don't really want to see the Sassanids win this. Um, but yeah, so I just felt like I'd do this one as a video today just to like let you guys know that cheating just generally isn't a great idea to do in Rome 2. You won't get a lot of, uh, you'll get a lot of grief for it. I don't know whether uh, they did in this game or what. But yeah, so I mean, this was sent in by a sub, a member of the uh, Discord as well. And uh, so if you want to jo join in the Discord, join the link uh, down below and uh, get involved in some games and some battles and some, maybe some tournaments in the future. Or just send in some replays that you'd like to then, that you thought, yes, Pope would really love this. Uh, you're more than welcome to do so. As, here we go, you can see the Longsword Cohort, the Dirty Longsword Cohort landing and uh, fighting the Armageddon Warriors. And look at that, the Armageddon Warriors losing to this Longsword Cohort, mainly because this unit is these guys are never supposed to meet each other. This is a late, like, empire fa a unit facing, well, a Republican, I guess you could say. Um, so we'll have to see what happens down here. I mean, we've got uh, Disciples of Atapenmak fighting against Longsword Cohort here. Uh, at least these Longsword, co Longsword Cohort are losing, I guess. But yeah, so we'll have to see what happens there. Gete is looking like he's getting ready to face Rome. Oh, what have we got on the walls here? We've got Mercenary Axe Warriors against Praetorians. Only be one winner here, and it will be the Praetorians. I'll have to see whether they can uh, get through this pretty much unscathed. We've got some more uh, Romans landing over there. More Praetorians, it would seem. And they are going to be uh, able to go along that wall kind of in the back there. Undisturbed, really. Um, they could go off here if they wanted to. Gete's not got anything uh, there. That's not a bad spot to go off. Gete's pretty spread out, uh, in fairness. So we'll have to see whether he can uh, contain Rome in this area, but, well, I don't know. He's got a lot of Praetorians as Rome here. Jeez. And, of course, uh, there's some Sassanid elephants over here just to, you know, just in case, you know, Rome was struggling. Uh, just give him some Sassanid elephants. Um, but, yes. So, I mean, it does look like the Sassanids here, obviously having a lot of joy, just breaking through. I just hate to see this. I hate to see when players just purposely cheat like there's no like just to get like I don't know a bit of joy out of winning a game like at the end of the day just get good at the game get good at the game I'm sure I'll rant like as it goes on so I do apologize um, but it does really grind my gears uh, does like cheers like that put it like that but if you have been enjoying the content uh, and I hope you enjoyed this battle as well even if we do have a, a dodgy player uh, please remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and leave a comment to show your support. And let's try and get, uh, carry on trying to get to uh, 2,000 subs. We're doing really well at the moment with the growth, and let's keep it up, guys. Uh, so, yeah, if you haven't already, do subscribe. 
as we have Praetorians coming through the gate down here. They're facing off some Armoured Spears. I'm going to say Praetorians are probably going to win that again. Uh, the only unit that I'm pretty sure will stop the uh, Praetorians in the track is the Noble Swords here. They are a very good unit at just stopping things in its track. Just generally. We've got some Gladiators here. Don't often see them. We've got their Silver Chevron as well. Jeez. Um, so they might do okay. Don't really see them often enough. Uh, they're certainly a good flanking unit. I imagine they're also pretty good in shock. Which is why you use them on the flanks. Um, but we'll see. I mean, with Silver Chevrons, they might hold the ground okay. Yeah, they do look awesome. With their funny little uh, helmets and, like, I don't know, armor on their arm. Very cool. Are they winning or losing? I mean, yeah, they, they've already lost one man. That's pretty impressive. Uh, I'd say Gete might want to get his uh, Dacian bows a little bit nearer. Maybe get set them up to about here or, like, put them around here. And just fire onto the walls here. I'm surprised the Praetorians did not flank around and go all the way around here. Um, but while that's been happening, let's see what's happening on this side. Yeah, Kush. Kush, one of the strongest factions in this game, is struggling to in this fight here. I mean, he's... I'd say he's trading units at the moment. He's doing okay. He's not doing so okay here. But, I mean, if he can surround... There's a unit here. Get these Kushite archers to get up here. Focus these longswords down in the back. That will be some really good kills. He's also got elephants of his own, so that's good. I'm glad that we're going to see some elephant action early on. But, yeah, there's some volleys here going off into the back of these longsword cohort as the elephants come plodding in behind. Plod, 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 plod. Nope, they've changed their minds. They, they don't fancy charging into the back of these longs. Why not? This is such an easy unit to take out. Oh, some good volleys there, though. I mean, they'd also really need to free up this area here. I mean, they've got cavalry in here now. Guyan, as par or whatever. They're losing, to, uh, losing already. That's good to see. They are actually getting chopped up by all these armored Shotel. But luckily, uh, as you can see, Sassan is clearly not a great player because he's already lost most of his army, which is why he's had to cheat and bring longswords and stuff like that. I mean, he's taken out a fair amount of Kush as well. Kush is pretty low. But he's got pikes left, which is huge. And he's got a fresh uh, show to warrior. So that's also good. But yeah, he has actually done a really good job. Has, uh, has Kush. I mean, he's just kind of now relying on these units here to uh, do their bit. And he's going after the general over here with his uh, cavalry. Not a bad target to go for. Um, I just don't want to say much more than that, really. <laughs> this player just <laughs> angers me so much. Bring a longsword cohort. But yeah, it's chopping down these guys. I mean, they do look awesome, do these uh, these eastern cavalry units. And there you go. They're going to route the final longsword cohort. Luckily, long they did only bring longsword cohorts, so it's not like a insanely strong Roman unit. Uh, not like the, probably the Praetorians over here, which are putting up a lot more of a... A stand. We'll put it like that. And here we go. We've got Praetorians coming along here. They're going to march down and take this spot. I think Dacia's probably got this fairly sorted out. I mean, there's a lot of Praetorians in here. Um, but, I mean, this looks like it could be a push through here. Like, you, when a lot of mo units move like this, you can kind of tell that it's going to be some sort of push through. Possibly about to happen. What is that back there that's just arrived? What is that back there? Looks like archers, and we've got uh, just Praetorians as well. By the looks of it, yeah, we've just got basic Praetorians. Did he literally send in his Praetorian? No, he's got no, he's just got a random unit of Praetorians. He's also got more gladiators. Okay, and here come the Assassin's Elephants. Oh, they're going to go all the way around the other side because they've realized that they are doing a bad job over here. And Kush has actually sallied out. Kush has sallied out, and he's taking on the Eastern Onager. With an armored Shotel unit, I don't know if that was the best idea in the world. Um, the general's now coming inside as well. And he has just mown down these uh, armored Shotels. I'd send in the elephant, their own elephant. Uh, send in your own elephant and go and take out this uh, cavalry. Because they're going to take out the general here. 34 men left. Not a good sign. But yeah, I mean, this cavalry, I mean... It's Really elite. That's really cool, like, what they've got for the armor for the horse. That's really cool. But, it looks like, uh, well, he looks like he's pulled through there a little bit, but he's lost a lot of men for it, so 
That's fine. That is fine. Oh, no, there's still one unit of longsword cohort. Of course there is. There's always one more. And Kushite Pike's staying up. Can they catch this cavalry? Probably not. They look like they're going to go over there. There's noble horses here. Have been charging into uh, the Praetorians. Yeah, good idea. Send the noble horse to go and support your ally and get them to help there uh, with the gen. Is he honestly going to go for the cap point? He is, isn't he? He's just going to go for the cap point. This is a very cheesy player. Um, and his uh, elephants are routed. That is good to see. And Kush looks like he's about to. Uh, looks like he's about to win this uh, this fight over here. He's now sending fire arrows up. He's going to route these guys even more. Excellent, excellent play with his archers. And there you go, yeah. He's going to go for the cap point as this general. And I, A, it's early. Too early to be doing this. Because, I mean, the noble horse should just go back for um, Gete and he could route this lot. He's got armor show to warriors coming over as well, so he should be fine. This cavalry here is uh, really trying to, like, I don't know, chop these guys down. They're not doing a great job. Only killed about 20. Another charge from the Spear Horseman? Possibly. Oh, that's going to be a good volley, though, there. We've got some Noble Swords. These guys will kill them in their tracks. There you go. They're down to 72, going into combat. Noble Swords. Now getting fired. They're going to get a rear charge here from the Cavalry. This is going to be devastating. Okay, it wasn't as bad as I thought, but it was, it was pretty good. And yeah, that unit's losing decisively. And there you go, routed just like that. That's how you kill Praetorians off. That was an excellent way uh, to show how to kill Praetorians. And there you go, the general is pulled out of uh, like the main cap point. And good. I'm glad he's been a bit of a cheesy player. I've not not enjoyed watching this guy. He's got two elephants left. Um, he's not got like unless he can use his archers to like really good effect. He's pretty much done already. Royal archers here. These guys look pretty cool, to be fair. I presume that these are Sassanids. Uh, they do look like Sassanid sort of units, but who knows? Uh, the elephant's going mad in here. That's not a good sign, though. They're going to trample a lot of... Oh, yeah, there's a lot of Kushite troops dying there. Kush is really low, though. He is really, really low. I mean, these elephants have just not helped. That's, that was a fresh unit of pikes, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's got crushed. And they've lost their general. I didn't even realize that. They lost their general at some point. It's not over over there, actually, sadly. But over here, Rome is getting cleaned up. Being contained in this area. I mean, he's, Gete is committing a lot. Uh, so is Rome. He's sending up his last units of Praetorians. He's only got three left. Gete certainly has a lot more noble swords. His noble spears left. He's got a Dacian scorpion. And he's got, well, lots of archers as well. And we should, so this should be okay. If I was Dacia, I'd start sending stuff over to help with, uh, fighting the Sassanids. To take out that general. And then, after that, just mop up any archers. And here we go. Looks like we're going to get a charge here onto the cavalry. They should catch him. They're heavy. Uh, that cavalry's so heavy. Yeah, they got them. There's elephants in here, though, of course. The elephants are not too far away. And yeah, the general has kind of escaped. He did okay there. He did pretty well escaping. But he's going to get chased down still by the horseman. The spear horseman. And there you go. He's now definitely trapped. And he's losing men every time he tries to pull away. I just want this guy to die. It sounds awful. This is like the one time that I will be very against a certain player. There you go. He's finally lost his uh, general unit. Uh, hopefully he kills the unit. I like the general. Just... The audacity to bring as assassins an already fairly strong faction. Bring Romans. A very, very stupid thing to do. Well, it's not stupid. It's just like a bit childish and a bit just like, I don't know. It's just cheating. Just cheating. Just all it is. No easy way to put it. Here come the Romans. They're going to carry on. But, I mean, they've done quite a good job here of Dacia. I mean, they've not got much left in this line. I mean, they are starting to get in. Oh, yeah, this is not good. They knocked a hole in this wall here. I did not realize this. Yeah, okay. I mean, these Praetorians are losing, though, to Spear Nobles. That's kind of weird. 
If I was certainly these archers, I'd start focusing fire into these Praetorians here. Oh, they've got a scorpion here. I did not realize. They've got a good angle. Yeah. That's got a really good angle. Well, it's got a good angle for the scorpion, not for us. But it's firing all the way into the back of those uh, gladiators and the Praetorians here. Like, just chipping them away, you know, bit by bit. Good to see these Praetorians are still losing. Now we've got Gladiators. He's going to sneak around the side with his Gladiators. Really good play there. But he's getting chased down by Noble Spears. We've got Noble Swords here. Fighting in combat against Praetorians. That could come down to the very last man. It's very close. But I mean, yeah, Daishu is actually pretty low on stuff now. And it looks like uh, Kush is sending literally everything in to try and kill these elephants. Which he is doing. And he's got elephants of his own. I'd send them in. Kill these last elephants. And there you go. Yep. Four of them left. So two elephants left. He will mop these uh, these guys up. Here they come. Blood, blood. Elephant versus elephant warfare. I'd rather have the Kusher elephants, I think. Because they've got Javis. Javis are a lot more devastating. And there you go. That elephant is broken. And it's just like these archers left. I wouldn't even worry about these guys. 29 royal archers. I'd send the elephants straight over to the fight the Romans. And then just maybe keep uh, the Dacian cavalry uh, just kind of around the cap point And then just charge these guys if they ever get close. Um, or off the walls. That's just all I'd do. Rome's now the big, the big threat. And there's still a lot of time left in this game. So Rome must make some gains soon, you do think. But it's good to see the Sassanid uh, player gone. Clearly wasn't a great player to be already out this early. Uh, I don't like to criticise people's skills, but it's clear. We must have, it was kind of a obvious when he was uh, having to cheat. To do, uh, to do even half decent. So there we go, the Praetorians. Coming in to help reinforce this. I mean, Rome's got a lot of reserves left. Well, I say that, he's got a lot of archers, and he's got, I mean, he's now got all these swords freed up here. But those elephants might be huge for Kush, you may need to use them to full effect. Um, Kush has just got, like, just knackered units left, apart from those elephants. And now this uh, scorpion crew is getting focused down, I don't know why they took them off the scorpion, they might as well just fire as many rounds as possible before the scorpion eventually uh, becomes redundant. They are, they are now losing these Dacian Heavy Bows and the Noble Spears in this fight. It's just as soon as that other unit joined. These uh, Praetorians, though, I think were... Uh, they're winning slightly now. For the glory of Rome, kill every barbarian in your path. Fight to the last man like that man just said there. Before those Dacians ran away. Um, but yes, yeah, so there goes the Scorpion crew. That was kind of expected as soon as they got close with the uh, archers. But yeah, they're very low on stuff. I mean, they're going to have two units of uh, infantry left. They're going to have some archers and some cavalry. And I mean, they've got these units of show to warriors. Actually, that 86 could be useful. And they've got the elephants, of course. The key unit. So it is very few, little left. And uh, Rome certainly got one... I want to say maybe two units of fresh... No, just the one, actually. So, okay. It's good. It is going to be close. I mean, there is... Depends on how much ammo Rome has left. He's got his artillery left, which is huge as well. But, I mean, he's going to have to commit a lot of his infantry to fight. Uh, well, what's left of their... Inf the defender's infantry. But, if uh, the elephants and the cavalry can get around and get some good flanks, that could be huge. But I am going to make a quick cut here while Rome marches forward to face the final defense. Uh, so I'll see you guys in a moment. Okay, so we are back. It was a quick cut. Um, I did miss a few things. I did quickly just go AFK. Um, but we have a quick cavalry charge here from the general. He's going to route these uh, small unit of Praetorians. You did miss. Uh, I didn't even realize Rome's general. Rome's general is very low. Um, but you did miss the, uh, the Dacian cavalry charging out. And it burnt three of the onager, um, onagers. They still have the Crutus man, the uh, final one. And the Kush uh, elephants charged him. I think they were going after archers. 
as well as obviously the Onishes. Oh my gosh, what a chain route. I did not even see this. Uh, yeah, that's the Roman general gone. That is the Praetorians about to route. Auxiliary is about to go as well. And we've got more Bale Erics now desperately trying to fire at the uh, cavalry down there. They need to get that cavalry out of there. If they can get that cavalry out of there, that makes it super close for the final. Uh, through Q, uh, like, moments, I guess we'll put it like that. Yeah, he has got himself out of there. Well done. That, that was well played. I don't know if they had to send in this elephant unit. I mean, it kind of did its job. It did kill... I guess it killed stuff here. It does kill stuff here. I don't really know if it needs to, like, kill, like, these... I guess it gets... Oh, no. Does it get the general? Oh, it does actually get the general, like, unit. Weakens it first. So, I guess that is pretty key. Oh, my gosh. And then Dacia's general breaks. He just died. I presume because he's Bale Eric, so he just got focused down. Oh, I don't know if uh, Dacia's got this. Or, like, guess he's got this. He's got some pretty strong units. But I don't know. I don't know. I mean, they've got two fresh units to their one. But then there's a lot more stuff. Like and they've got the artillery of Romans. This is going to be extremely close. I will uh, just quickly fast forward. I don't really want to make another cut just in case we miss anything key. Um, I mean, it wasn't too key with those things. I mean, losing the ele uh, losing the elephants and the uh, burning the artillery. It's not ma that massive. Uh, seeing the two generals die is pretty key. Uh, and there you go. Daisha is going to fall back and hide because the artillery is there. That's not a bad idea. Not a bad idea. Okay, maybe I will make another cut because it does look like Rome's in no hurry to try and uh, focus down Gete or come and find him. So, uh, yeah, I'll make another quick cut and I'll see you guys in a moment. And we are back. Right, so we are here with the final few moves. And so you saw here, uh, well, as you can see here, Kush is trying to uh, basically use its last unit to try and sneak around. He was going to sneak around here and I think go and get some of these tiny little units of Rome. And get a flanking manoeuvre ready, uh, which would be a really good idea to allow uh, the Gete basically just to hold here and hold the line. I mean, it looks like we've got a small unit of Bale Erics over there, which is also going to just... seems like it's just going around just capping stuff. But we have the Praetorians coming up. This is the only unit of Praetorians I need to worry about, I'd say. The other one's uh, beaten up enough to not worry about. I mean, the Gladiators could be a bit of an issue. They are pretty strong. But... I don't know. These Noble Swords are also pretty nasty. And the Praetorians aren't leveled up at all, like Sharon up, so they should be okay. Look at these uh, Praetorians, just like this tiny unit of Praetorians here. Looks kind of cool, to be fair. Like, it'd be a little Praetorian patrol just going through the city. Then it just gets, like, attacked by some random barbarians. Like, oh, what are these doing there? And why are we on the front line? We're not used to this. Yeah, I'll tell you a secret. Run! <laughs> Run! They're going for us. Never let a... Never let a barbarian catch you unawares. And here we go. Oh, that Kushite unit is just breaking instantly. That's no surprise, to be honest. Um, yeah, that unit's kind of just so beaten up. It just, just never yet yeah, routed fully. Uh, and here we go, though. Noble so uh, Spears, sorry. They probably don't want to engage those Praetorians. If I was this Kushite unit now, I would start pushing hard on these gladiators. Or go... Or you wait until, like... Gete's engaged this unit, and then you push hard down here and surround the archers. I mean, they still need to take out these Praetorian tiers. It's 72 of them. That's probably the only other unit of sort of worry. But here we go. It's going to be the clash, one of the final clashes of infantry. Spear nobles versus Praetorians. I'm going to say Praetorians have probably got this in the bag because it's spears on the attack. Uh, but here we go. Bows coming in. And they're actually focusing down the unit behind. It's not a bad target. And they are dropping in those Praetorians. Here comes another volley. You see the arrows fly out of the sky. And there you go. They're all dropping down. Uh, we'll have to see. Where does that Kushite unit come? It's come back inside. Not a bad idea. It's just trying to stay hidden, I think. Try and catch these Romans unawares. Not a bad idea. Um, you could also send the Noble Swords and send that round here. Do two pincer moons and just pray that this uh, spear unit can hold the line. Uh, it should be able to do so. If these archers keep supporting them like they are. How is this uh, Praetorian unit doing here? Melee even. Uh, I mean, this one is not looking so good. It's 11 and breaking. 11 and breaking. Uh, hopefully the other Romans can break soon. I mean, I don't know why I'm, like, being mean on this attack. He did, he's done well, and he didn't have to cheat. But, I mean, the defenders have done really, really well. I mean, 
really struggled throughout this entire thing. Oh my gosh, so Bo is now getting focused down or trying to get focused down. And there you go. The spear noble, uh, noble spears are breaking. They're going to have to send up those noble swords to support. I think if they do that, though, they should win that fight. And then there's not much left uh, to fight against. I mean, these armor shows. Oh my gosh, these armor shows are winning massively. I mean, it's a fresh unit, probably. That's why. Uh, they've also got really good armor piercing, so they'll do well against the Praetorians. But oh my, they are like rinsing through these guys. Yeah, and there you go. Those two are breaking. And that is huge for Kush or the defenders, just generally. Uh, and these Dacians, not a bad idea. If they're out of ammo, I don't know if they are. No, they still have ammo. Uh, it's going to be hard. It's it's a hard fight to go against uh, these auxiliaries. I mean, they've got a silver chevron as well. Jeez. So they're going to need to support this uh, spear unit soon. I would send the swords in or send the shotels in. Send the shotels in. And then it just comes down to this. And I think then the defenders have got this. They just have to break these two sword units. Then it just comes down to archers, which they could probably just run down. These bare lyrics over here, they need to really get on and do something. Are they firing? They're surely not firing from there. What are they firing at? Are they firing at possibly uh, these Dacians? If they are, because they've not got a great angle. But yeah, a lot of them have died. So that is uh, not a good sign either. It looks like the Noble Swords are going to go in first. The Armour Show is being kept in reserves. But they certainly need to send something up. I mean, you can, these uh, Noble Spears are not doing so hot. And in a moment, we will see the Noble Swords come into the picture. There they are. And they'll help push back the Praetorians. They'll have to give some ground as this fresh unit comes in. Imagine being on the final stretch as one of these guys and you just like eventually get killed. And you're like, oh gosh, I've been through so much. And now I'm dead. Such a what a way to go! What a way to go! And there you go, Praetorians falling back. They're going to give ground, and the gladiators are wavering. Carry on the attacks. Um, I mean, I mean, they got a nice little uh, jabby volley off there on the Praetorians, and then a nice jabby volley off there on the archers. And there we go. Those Praetorians are getting overwhelmed, and they're wavering. And that is it. I'm going to say that's GG. Uh, the defenders have got this. I think they've got this. They're going to run down these archers and they'll run down the next one. These bear lyrics, I think, are going to try and sneak in and try and get the uh, cat point. There's Shota's Shota's waiting for them. And there we go. It's such a close battle. Wow, this is one of the closest I've seen. Um, but yeah, these archers now have just been cut down by the noble swords. Great time to send them in. Just at the last, last minute. Support their spear brothers. We're still in there. And there we go. These archers are gone. It's now onto the artillery crew. And there you go. Everything else is wavering. And that is actually going to be the battle. They don't need to run down any more stuff. Everything is wavering. So well done to the defenders. To defeating the, assassin, the uh, cheating Sassanid player and the Roman player. So this was sent in by Gazleek, who was playing as the Gete. Uh, well done to him and Benny Blanco. Um, but yeah, so um, we do have... Let's have a look at the results for uh, Gazleek first. I mean, he didn't get many units over 100. He got 106 here with his Thracian Peltas. 106 with his Noble Spears. 161 with his Noble Swords there at the end. But most of the other stuff just did pretty standard. Uh, nothing stood out too much. But he did really well, held back Rome, um, and got lots of uh, decisive kills at that gate and then Benny Blanco is going up against uh, the Sassanids he got 246 kills with his African war elephants so very well done to him there his uh, Kushai uh, well his armor show was sorry got um, 177 is the best one I can see but a lot of them did go over 100 and then his disciples of Atapenmak getting 116 and that's kind of all that did any well uh, Hercules who's playing as the Sassanid player um, if he's watching, I just recommend just don't do this again. Um, I certainly wouldn't appreciate this in the, I came up against this. If they just said that it was okay, then that's fine. Um, but still, it's just not nice to really see just like, just play with one of the armies. Like playing with the Assassin's might be okay. But then just to bring Longsword Cohort's just a bit cheesy. 
Well, it was very cheesy. Um, but he got a lot of uh, kills as general. Got 129. Zervinsky 183 is the best one there. His archer is 123. And his long so uh, is tainted longsword cohort 141 uh, kills there. And then we have Rug, uh, who is playing as the Roman player, uh, the Roman army, and he got 100 kills with uh, 174 kills actually with his gladiators. That's pretty damn good. Um, his Praetorians, um, well, his basic ones got 130, and then out of his guard units, uh, I think 193 is the best one there. So well done to him. He was very unlucky at the end there to just break at the wrong time. Um, but yeah, so thanks for uh, Gasly for sending us in. It was an excellent battle. If you haven't, please do leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new around here, and leave a comment to show your support as well. And until next time, Legionnaires, bye for now.